I'm Jen Marcia. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Communication, Texas A&M University. I've been here since 2003. I am also the founding director of the Aggie Agora. I'm a historian of American political rhetoric. I study citizenship, the American presidency. I'm very interested right now in issues of corruption and demagoguery. My undergrad degree is in broadcasting, and I think that my motivation for broadcasting was I really wanted to find out the truth and tell it to people and sort of make the world a better place, be a watchdog over the government. And after I worked in broadcasting for a while, I realized that that's not what they do there necessarily. Um, and so then I decided to get a master's degree in political communication, and I wanted to work on political campaigns, uh, again, with that same sort of motivation of finding out the truth and making the world a better place. And I thought maybe I could do that through politics. Um, and then I worked on a few political campaigns and found out that's not what they do there either. So I decided to get a PhD um, in the hopes that I could make the world a better place. I was taking a political communication class and we were learning about apathy and disengagement and I just got so irritated, so mad that people don't participate in politics. I threw down my pen and I said, what the hell are we doing here then? And my professor said, well, you know, sometimes people do vote and so what we do matters. Uh, and I didn't find that answer satisfying. And so I decided to study rhetoric and politics and political theory and American history to try to understand why do we think we have a democracy when we don't? Why is it that people don't participate? I think it's a logical response to a system that was designed to prevent us from participating. Um, and so that's why I study rhetoric. My work is about how we think about different elements of American political system, American political process. So how do we think about citizens and how citizens can act in the government? How do we think about the American presidency? How do we frame the president as a hero instead of just a public servant? How do we think about demagogues? How do we position them and call them into being? Yeah, I like to think about my research in terms of puzzles. So my first book was motivated by the puzzle of why do we think we have a democracy when we don't? How is it that the founding generation thought of the democracy as the worst form of government, and yet in the new millennium, we think of democracy as an unquestionably good thing? How did that happen? Um, my second book, The Puzzle, was why do we treat the American president as a hero instead of a public servant? My current book project is about why do we call people who are leaders of the people demagogues? What does that mean? What techniques do they use and why do they work? Uh, and why does it seem like demagoguery is on the rise now? So the Aggie Agora is a program in the College of Liberal Arts. It's for critical thinking and citizen engagement. Right now we're focused, of course, on the presidential election. We do different workshops. We have awesome guest speakers. Um, we're really excited about our new hackathon, uh, once a month event, where we're gonna have students come in and actually solve some real world problems and teams. Um, it's gonna be cool. And uh, yeah, the Aggie Agora is the most awesome thing that's ever happened to this university. Thank you.